Hello, Reef DVMs here. You're looking at my 75 gallon tank in the basement. It's been dealing with some low pH problems for the last year or so. Um, and it's because it's in the basement and it can't get fresh air. We decided to remedy that before we put the sump in the basement. And to do that, we're going to use Bulk Reef Supply products here. This is their CO2 absorbent they sell in a 9 pound bulk. It's a, a low dust medical grade. And that's the air filter that they sell that you also can use with it. This is a nice kit, very affordable product. Show you some of the granulars here. They're very dust free as you pour them out. You don't get a lot of dust. Uh, this is a very easy apparatus to use. You take these and you just stick them in it. And we're going to hook it up to an airline. And then it's going to scrub, if you want to call it that, like an anesthetic machine, the CO2 right out of the air, uh, which is great because we don't want that in our tank. So here it is. Um, this is the air filter bulk reef supplies. I already have the cartridge filled, but I want to show you a few things. It's really nice, has an in and out, has a nice seal there on the front, a nice screw on lid, very much like um, any type of RO. Has an internal canister to hold uh, the CO2 absorbent, has a nice foam plug at the top, another foam plug at the bottom. It unscrews from the bottom here, as you can see, which is quite nice for easy filling and get the light, widest hole that you can to put the CO2 absorbent in. As you see, I filled it up here. This CO2 absorbent probably can last anywhere between a month and maybe three months depending upon how much CO2 is in your air versus oxygen. So you screw it back on and you can see that nice black o-ring that's good. It's a nice hard plastic. Um, but I do, I put a teaspoon of water in the bottom. I stick that uh, cartridge in there. I screw it together which is really nice and easy to do. It seals up real good. You need a nice seal because you don't want to leak air through this process and then we're ready to install this. I do like the two handy holes for hanging it, although in my situation I'll hang it with Velcro. Where I'm going to hook it up to the airline is pretty simple. I'm going to take off the airline that exists already on my hang on the back protein skimmer and I'm going to replace it with just some basic um, tubing that you can get from any local fish store. The tubing I've got here goes up to a shelf which is where I'm going to place the device and that will be the out for the device. I have another piece of tubing which is right above this piece of tubing which actually runs up into the trusses over about 25 feet and into a fruit cellar that has a fresh air duct um, where I can actually get fresh outside air and then I can pull that into my skimmer. This is a picture of it. I've got it ducted into my uh, fruit cellar PVC pipe and it works really nice. You get constant fresh air even during the winter months and since it's a very small volume of fresh air, it doesn't seem to freeze the tank. So here I am with the um, hookups. I've got some tubing that's all set and all plugged in. I'm just going to put it here together real quick. We'll speed this up so you don't be bored by how I connected it because it's pretty self-explanatory. Once it's connected, uh, basically all you got to do is turn on your protein skimmer. It's going to suck air, pull it through the CO2. CO2 is going to get attached to the carbon that's in there as it is here in the one week follow up it turns a nice purple color I'd say when that thing gets about half to maybe three quarters of the way up in purple color probably should think about changing that exhausted CO2 absorbent but this is a great way for the skimmer to pump only fresh oxygen into the tank and not CO2 I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have questions or comments please post them below otherwise check us out on Facebook again this is a great product by Bulk Reef Supply thank you